Aquarius, go, 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 Aquarius, go, 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 Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius. How are you guys doing, my gang? Hope you guys are, um, you know, doing well. I hope you I hope you guys have not been feeding the lunatics, because you know, if you keep feeding them, Aquarius, motherfuckers gonna keep coming back, and we don't want the lunatics now, do we? Um, so yeah, we're gonna take a look to see what kind of lunatic may try to come towards us, okay, in love. <laughs> um, keep in mind the situation could be vice versa or interchangeable, right? If you're watching this for an Aquarius, the Aquarius may have done X, Y, and Z. Also, Aquarius, if this does not seem to resonate for you, may not be your reading right now, do check out your moon, your rising, your Venus, okay? Um, Please do not forget to hit the like button for me, please. Show me some love, guys. I know my gang always shows me love, okay? So let's see, Aquarius. Let's see what the freak is coming towards us in love, okay? All right. Aquarius. What is coming towards Aquarius in love? Aquarius. Aquarius, you have romance. This is a very loving and romantic courtship that can lead to more. Aquarius, give me a card at the bottom of the deck for Aquarius in love. These are bonus reading, guys. So we will be using um, the messages cards. Hopefully, I, hopefully I don't um, forget. <laughs> uh, Aquarius, card at the bottom of the deck for Aquarius. So yeah, guys, we have romance. All right. Oh, bottom of the deck, you have a soulmate. Your partner is a soulmate who will help you. Open your heart fully to love. Nice. Aquarius. Aquarius. What's going on? What is coming towards Aquarius in love? Aquarius, someone's longing for you. Don't they always long for us, though? You're always going to miss what you mistreated, right? All right. Cry. Aquarius, second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. I think the freak not. What is coming towards Aquarius in love? Aquarius. Oh, so Aquarius, you have here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. Okay. So it's saying, Aquarius, that the lunatic, the one that you're supposed to spend your life with, is already here. Okay. But the motherfucker's going to show up at any given moment. <laughs> All right, well, there's maybe someone you already know. Second chance is, is showing up. Aquarius. 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 One more. Aquarius. What is coming towards Aquarius in love? Aquarius. All right, guys, you have sacrifice. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions obsessions addictions it's a sacrifice for love okay so that could be someone needs to someone's breaking away from illusions obsessions addictions whatever the hell their deal is um it looks like they may finally be breaking free from that aquarius okay all right and awakening is here see awakenings at the bottom of the deck let's see what's going on child <laughs> aquarius what is coming towards aquarius in love you could be connected to a sagittarius you got sagittarius in your chart you could be connected to a pisces what is coming towards aquarius in love i know my table is ratchet guys my setup is about to change <laughs> aquarius one more shuffle aquarius thank you Let's see what the overall energy is for you, Aquarius. Aquarius. Woo, Aquarius. All right. So we know that as Aquarians, right? Fuck it, as Earth signs, um, we have we have a real problem with overthinking. Okay, we do think a lot about situations, and uh, we create a mental prison for ourselves, and it stops us. It paralyzes us in fear at times. Um, so just keep in mind, this could be your energy, their energy, but you're getting out of that or someone's getting out of overthinking things with you. Okay. Maybe they ready. They want to finally take action. What is coming towards Aquarius in love spirit? <laughs> what is coming towards Aquarius in love? What do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? 
What is coming towards Aquarius and love? What do we have, Spirit? Ooh, Aquarius, I feel like you took out the trash. <laughs> oh, God, that's so funny. All right. You release something. You release someone. Maybe you're releasing baggage, Aquarius. Um, you, you've taken out the trash for some of you. You've taken out the trash. And that could just be your own baggage from the past. Um, or just someone who was just a burden in your life. Or a situation that was a burden. It just was weighing you down. Maybe you felt like it was one-sided. I mean, the freaking crap was just stressing you out. Um, you have the King of Swords here. You could be connected to another Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Some of you are have gotten a divorce, is what I'm hearing. Okay, and you're completely done with this past person. Whoever the hell this person is specifically from the past who's showing up as a burden in your life, um, I think you're, you're good on that. <laughs> What's coming towards Aquarius in love? Some of you may be online dating Aquarius. Some of you may be online dating um, and you're going to come across somebody. Why do I feel like Aquarius, somebody from the past is very obsessed with you? This person's very obsessed. They're watching you. If they could drink your back, bath water, they would. But this motherfucker is really watching you. Um, it may not seem like it, but they're. I hope they're not watching your house. But this person is spying on you a whole lot, Aquarius. Um, maybe they want to know a lot about you if this is a new person. Maybe this is someone who's trying to um, see, you know, if the coast is clear to let their guard down because you're wounded, Aquarius. Someone is wounded here from this person or just previous relationships. You're wounded. Your guard is all the way up right now, Aquarius. Um, so, yes, you're, you're, kind of, you're over this situation, but at the same time, you're cautious. Um, you're looking for anything that seems odd or anything that smells fishy. You're not dealing with it. Okay. Um, I feel like Aquarius, one person in particular may have been toxic. Okay. Or there's something about this person they need to release. Um, remember, they need to release, sacrifice some kind of addictions, whatever the hell is wrong with them. Some type of patterns they need to sacrifice. I feel like Aquarius, somebody that you release is very obsessed with you. I hate to fucking keep saying that, but that's the truth. The devil is here. It could be a Capricorn, another Aquarius. I feel like some of you are internet dating or online dating, whatever the hell you call it. But you're cautious. You're cautious. You're not going to give your heart to just anybody, Aquarius. Um, I feel like Aquarius, there's going to be a very big spark between you and someone. You could be connected to a Leo. Um, but happiness is coming your way again. Happiness is definitely coming your way. I feel like, like I said, you really just recently went through something that was kind of crazy for some of you. But if there is going to be happiness coming your way, you may find it with a fellow Aquarian, possibly. But there's going to be a spark, okay, um, between you and this person. It's going to be like, wow, uh, I haven't felt this way in a while, <laughs> For some of you, some of you, I feel like, I don't know why I'm hearing you feel like you would never fall in love again or yeah, you are. <laughs> you're dating. Um, you do, you're open, you're open to seeing what can happen. Um, Aquarius with the three of wands could be a long distance relationship. Okay. But at the same time, like I said, um, you, you're waiting for the right opportunity here with the three of wands. And in the meantime, you're working on yourself. You're loving yourself. You're taking care of yourself. You're enjoying yourself. You're over them, but they're not over you. Okay, so whoever the hell this person is, I feel like you're over them, but they're not over you. They may be putting on the poker face, acting as though they don't care, but they do. They're actually still very obsessed with you. And the fact that you've disconnected completely, they could feel that and they don't like that. They don't like that at all, Aquarius. Someone you work with could be very interested in you, okay? But you're focusing on yourself, okay? You're doing you. Some of you are making plans. Maybe you're traveling. I'm seeing somewhere sunny. You may be thinking about traveling, moving, whatever you're doing. Um, maybe you're putting a lot of your time into something that makes you happy, which is, like I said, work, your business, whatever it is. You're putting work into that. 
and you're not stressing Aquarius you're good you're good you cut them off you don't give a damn um and you're just enjoying your independence right now you're enjoying your freedom okay but while you're doing that back at the ranch somebody has trouble moving on from you um and I feel like Aquarius they're still working through the aftermath of what happened it's it's hard for them okay for some of you this could be a person that um they could be very guarded because this is what they went through Aquarius they went through something very crazy and um they're trying to be head over heart with you because they still have yet to work through whatever the hell this is mental baggage emotional baggage they're still working through it but Aquarius you're taking your time here knight of pentacles um I feel like there is someone coming towards you who is going to be very consistent with you. Um, someone you can trust, someone you could rely on because I feel like you do have trust issues. I feel like your 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 guard is all the way up. Okay, too much toxicity, too much too much of that. Um this person may be slow, right? But they're steady and they're reliable and I think that's what you would appreciate. It doesn't have to be um an earth sign. But it could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And you also have an Aquarius here. Okay. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. You're taking your time. You, you're not rushing. Maybe in the past you had a habit of rushing. And um, maybe going based on the passion. And then you end up, you know, in situations that's not very healthy. Okay. So right now you're taking your time. And it does look like something is on the horizon for you. Someone, something. What is the Ten of Wands reverse for Aquarius? Ten of Wands reverse for Aquarius. Ten of Wands reverse for Aquarius. Some of you released an Aries. Some of you released somebody who was very stubborn. Someone that you see you were dating long term. Um, could be your, your wife, your husband, right? You release this person. Maybe they got you involved in a third party. Maybe you found out they were using you or something like that. But bottom line, you 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 release somebody who was very set in their ways. You realize you aren't going to change the motherfucker. All right? So you release them. What is the five of cups of verse for Aquarius? In love. You release them. <laughs> and they are very obsessed. Wow. Yeah. You went through something that was unexpected that really kind of shook you up Aquarius with the tower here okay what is the page of swords I just feel like you're looking but at the same time you're not um totally totally um gonna like, just jump into anything with anyone that's what I feel yeah but there is someone that you're getting to know you just want to make sure whoever you're getting involved with isn't a player so you're really asking all the right questions. You're doing research. You're not going to let anybody fuck with you. What is this King of Swords? But you got somebody just watching you from the past who's obsessed like crazy. Wow. So Aquarius, you could definitely have um, a new connection here. You know, possibly, like I said, with another Aquarian be a new connection in your life what is the devil here for Aquarius what is this devil <laughs> what is this devil for Aquarius in love this person's on the brink of obsession oh yeah so all there could be a Taurus that's still very obsessed with you all they do is think about you they're very obsessed with you, Aquarius. They they haven't moved on. They haven't moved on. Six of Swords in reverse once again. Wherever this person is, doesn't have to be, but it could be a Capricorn. What is this Nine of Wands for Aquarius in love? Ooh. So someone wants to build with you, Aquarius. They want to build with you. They want to see where this can go. But your you know, your guard is all the way up. You're in your head. You're worried. You don't know what to do, okay? You're conflicted. 
but you know there's a lot of passion here but you don't know if you're really truly ready just yet well aquarius all i can say um i feel like whoever this person is embodying the king of swords doesn't have to be an air sign this person is the one who will really make you happy um who you'll find real compatibility and love with the two of cups is here this person could even be your soulmate um you gotta just just turn your back completely don't even think about the past at all just turn away completely um and it's also saying to try not to overthink this connection with whoever this other person is kind of just go with the flow of things what else for aquarius in love what else for aquarius in love because it's saying here and now this true love is already in your life or they will be yeah oh aquarius you have somebody so damn interested in you but you may have trust issues you have trouble trusting it <laughs> you have trouble trusting it you're like oh no motherfucker i don't know because you've just been so betrayed so hurt you don't know if you can pick up the pieces but this person this is a pure love aquarius ace of cups is here this is a pure person pure love being unemotionally unavailable is not going to get you nowhere okay or if it's this person they may be emotionally unavailable but not for long because the ace of cups is here the water is just gonna fall out they're just gonna let it rip aquarius okay they just can't help it i mean their feelings for you are very intense whoever this person is um, i feel like i'm channeling two people here their feelings for you are very intense and it's just gonna come out but the past is still watching. They're still lurking, Aquarius. Let me get my little message cards, guys. This shit's all the way over there. All right. <clears throat> what does this person want to say to Aquarius? What does this person want to say to Aquarius? Ooh, Aquarius, we belong together. <laughs> That motherfucker is obsessed. I told you. They say they're obsessed with you. And you're like, why are you so obsessed with me? Whatever this person did to you, it just all they did was put them into put themselves into a spiral of, of, of obsession. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? Yeah, you def you guys definitely have someone who's just very obsessed. They're they're stalking, they're watching you. Um, they ain't gonna give up. That's for damn sure. Sorry, guys. Ugh. For some of you, this could be your child's mother, child's father. That's very obsessed with you. Let me love you. Can we start over? So someone wants to start over with you. I am sorry if I let you down. So it's up to you, Aquarius, because I feel like you, you do have um, an opportunity here, okay? You may be dealing with somebody who is definitely ready to open their heart to you and be with you and show you true love. But then again, you have someone who was uh, emotionally unavailable in the past or whatever their deal was. For some of them, maybe they, de they needed to de um, detach from some type of toxic ways. But either way, um, this person's stalking you. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? Anything else? Aquarius. Aquarius. All right, guys. I create... Oh! Aquarius. They say they create fake pages to spy. and They regret not choosing you. So if they chose somebody else, they are obsessed. They are obsessed. Anyway, Aquarius, I love you guys so much. Let me know what the freak is going on here. Um, I will see you guys next time.